Tinubu has announced the appointment of Dr. Lashuko Ulusi as the new managing director and chief executive officer of the Bank of Industry. This was contained in a statement on Thursday by the presidential spokesman Ajuri Ngalali on Thursday night. According to Ngalali, the appointment is far is for a term of four years and subject to renewal by President Tinubu. The president's approval of Dr. Ulushi's Ulushi's appointment follows the voluntary resignation of former BOI managing director and chief executive chief officer Mr. Ulukayode Kwiton. The statement read, hmm, did Kwiton Kwiton resign or the the sacking? I beg Tinubu urged Ulushi to ensure that Nigerians who are operating all sizes of the enterprises across sectors are given fair and equitable access to much needed support in order to bolster employment generation and wealth creation amongst income groups in the country with special regard for lower and middle income enterprise operators. On his appointment, Olisi served as a World Bank Economics and Development Finance expert over the, 20, over the past 20 years. Between 2011 and 2015, he was the economic advisor to the then coordinating Minister of the Economic and Minister of Finance, Ngozi Okunjiwala, an alumnus of Hall University, United Kingdom. He obtained a master's degree in international money finance and investments and as well as doctorate in finance and economics from Durham University United Kingdom in 2005 can you just imagine okay well, the emphasis is that oh yes Timbu appointed a World Bank economist Okunjo as S advisor to head bank of industry <laughs> And come and see talk here and there. Well, in all sincerity, Tinubu is far better in administration than is doing currently as president. I think his problem is in his commitment to continue from where Buari stops as well as the influence of the many psychophants around him. Too bad. So if Ausa behaves stupidly, then Yoruba follow in the same path of stupidity. Then who is more wiser then? I think this one is talking about say, oh Yoruba person again. Yoruba, this is your turn. Oh. This is a useless write up. How is this a useless write up? This is the reality that is on ground. Uh, this is how former President Muhammadu Buhari made his appointments for good eight years without interference. Bola Metinumbu should be mindful of principle of federal character. He busy appointing Yorubas in order to cover loopholes around him. And this one, the ego boomerang. <laughs> Oh, madam, flee from disaster. Okay, it has something to do with uh, Konjewala. The man was just an advisor to Konjewala. Then, uh, criminal element is a criminal element. You don't even have anything up here, though. You are a druggie. Continue to appoint criminals like you. Remove Konjewala name from your useless and uh, whatever appointment. Eh? Sorry, she doesn't belong to the Agbadu Republic. How can a clean woman with clean certificates would want to work, want to surrender her integrity and genuine certificates to work with a drug baron with fake certificates and a person with stolen identity? God forbid. No. I think some people are not getting it because uh, it says a uh, Okunjo Wella's advice. Uh, the first is that uh, is a rotational after Buhari appointment, Tinubu appointment, and so on. Most every appointment come from Yoruba. This mad Man is using tribalism to rule. Stop using our oil to fund Yoruba government. Lubato. <laughs> we deceive ourselves so much in this part of the world. No one can swear in this part of that he or she gets to power will not give preference to his people. What are we talking about? What are we saying? Is that how it's all to go? No, 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 no. Go and check Obasa. Your Obasa your didn't do all those nonsense. Must you even do, even if you want to, like, you know, just have to, you have to be fair. That's what we're talking about. The way Buhari was doing that, nothing will happen. I go do, I go do anything I like. In as much that I, I am not a by God, God will not forgive any northerner who never condemn Mr. Buhari when he was in charge because he legalized nepotism, tribalism, and sentiment. In the Nigerian politics, and Mr. Tinubu is trying his best to find the best people to assist his government since selfishness and sentiment didn't allow us to practice regional 
system of government. But we are hiding under the whole doctrine of uh, propagandas of civil war of over 56 years. Please, let's leave Tinubu to breathe. You are wrong because Buhari appointments cut across all regions. Can you see? <laughs> uh, who was the IG? Who was the chief of staff? Who was the controller of immigration? Who was the controller civil defense? EFCC custom controller. Name is Buari trademark was bad. Tinubu said he will continue from where he stops. All these foreign educated and foreign based citizens that do not even understand our local economic dynamics but are put at the driver's seat in the country can never solve our economic problems. Let our leaders look inward for solutions. When Tinubu appoints other tribes into position, the platform don't post it, but don't miss it to, oh, to post one person is Yoruba just to discredit the president. But he's smelling everywhere now. What are we talking about? Out of a, let's say out of ten people, you 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 appoint somebody Yoruba eight people Yoruba people. So when they come put you can't appoint a maybe an Ausa person, an Igbo person, you can't say me they clap. Oh, what are we talking about? What are we saying? Well, that is just what it is. It is what it is. Let's know what you think and let's have your take on this.